The EduTech guys present a conversation from our live coverage of Fetsy in Orlando, Florida on Tuesday, January 23rd, 2018. Enjoy the program. I'm Carla Moran. We're from Union Elementary in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I'm the librarian. I am Jean Hessen. I am a classroom teacher. I've been teaching for 13 years and I teach eight and nine year olds third grade curriculum. Awesome. awesome. Cool. And this is your entourage. It is. This Isn't is yes. oh, oh, awesome. Mr. Taylor. Miss Wigger and, and Susan awesome. Rogers. It's, it's awesome. A, it's always fun to have a, a support crew. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that, that works out really well. Um, okay, so um, tell us what you're doing at Fancy. Um, we're here because we've been nominated for the Elementary STEM Excellence Award. Oh, awesome. Jennifer Womble was telling us about this uh, yesterday, so that's really awesome. So that is Friday. Is that the announcement Friday that's, that's coming Yes, sir. Up? So you don't know until Friday. We don't. Friday. We don't. You have any, uh, any you know, inside. feelings about this? Any inside uh, track? No. <laughs> no help. <laughs> no help. Okay. Anybody, okay. All right. All right. Okay. We take care of the never bugs. Okay. Anyways. All right. Okay. So, um, okay. Uh, but no, here's what's really interesting about that. Um, it, people always say this, but it's really true. It's great to just be here. Absolutely. It says a lot about your program, about your school, Thank about you. what you do, about what your students are doing to get here. So tell us how you got here. What's the thing that put you over the top and brought you to where you're sitting here and you're at Fetsy? Um, we're a small elementary right outside Nashville, Tennessee, and we uh, started our STEM program probably about 10 years ago, and we've just slowly been developing it. And um, last year we got STEM certification. Um, Two years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. We got it two years ago, and so we're just continuing on that path. Of, of Time building. flies. He just is like, it's just and, and, like and that's why you bring other people with <laughs> you. Exactly. Right. Yes. Right. What would I do without them? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, to get here, mm -hmm. take us through the steps that got you to this point. That's what I'm saying. Is like what uh, we don't know a lot about it. We just we were told that. Yes. Hey, guess how, what? how does the this school end new? up as a finalist for? The STEM. Yeah. Well, it was really difficult because when we started it, there wasn't a lot of STEM out there, and we had no idea even how to start when it was kind of decided by our school in our county that we would become a STEM school. And so we had really had to go out and find a lot of resources and pull them in. And so the first thing we did was kind of um, pull our teachers in and do some professional development, decide how our STEM program was going to look, try to get as many resources. That's where I try to help out is get as many um technology resources, hands-on resources as we can, and then the teachers, they kind of um, have worked with building the curriculum around that. Cool. And so is there like a contest or something you have to enter? I mean, how did, how did your name get submitted or do they come find you? It's an application process. Okay. So there was narratives that we had to write, okay. evidence that we had to provide. Okay. Um, uh, proof that we had to provide that we were doing um, said things to build towards the STEM, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, towards so that. currently, what are the major projects the kids are working on right now? In, within our building, mm -hmm. um, we reflected on where we were with STEM, and we do a lot with agriculture. So we have a greenhouse. We have a 20 by 40, I believe, greenhouse. We have a large garden. Um, we have two chicken coops. Um, so that is always an ongoing project within our school. Um, we teach kids where the food comes from, the whole process. It's, we have a huge butterfly launch where we tag oh, and cool. um, uh, monitor butterflies from Gallatin, Tennessee to Mexico. And then we cool. have a paper migration. So those types of things are always ongoing going. Um, within the building, we have uh, PBLs that teachers are working to create and uh, implement daily within their lessons. And um, STEM all often springs off of uh, literature that we're reading within the classroom. So those are things like mini lessons or things that are going on throughout the day. But the garden and agriculture is always a large project within our school. And, yeah. and with those programs, we're teaching our kids how to reach out to the community and help. And so that that's where the PBL comes in is solving those problems. Um, a lot of our food goes out to the food bank to help them. Um, eggs are given um, to a lot of the people in the community every day. We have a lot of elderly people around our neighborhood living in a food desert. They can't get out. There aren't grocery stores and such around them where they can get vegetables and fresh eggs and things like that. So the kid, we're, we're showing them how that, that can be used to help in the community. Man, awesome. That is awesome. So you're taking uh, entrepreneurial aspects, you're taking philanthropy, you're taking the whole thing along with STEM and combining it. Right, to right. Using that STEM to serve. So well, not can, just not just you know science within a vacuum, but you know you can use this for a greater good. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. and now I see why you're a finalist. Now that I've got well, a little more of the narrative, yeah, thank you. yeah <laughs> that, that makes a lot of thank sense. You. Now yeah. I see why you're here. Took a while to pull it out. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they pay us the big bucks that's for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Wonderful. That's really cool. Um. So I know you're 
wearing presenters. So do you guys present this while you're here? You're going to do that? You're presenting anything else while you're here? Or yes, just we that? present on Thursday. We present our STEM program on Thursday cool. so uh, anybody can come and watch. I'm not sure exactly what time that is. 145 on Thursday. 145 on Thursday? Cool. I, and I think it's one after another, isn't it? it yes. Everybody's lined up. How long do they give I you? I think they have one on each day this week. Do they? Okay. Uh -huh. They have it spread out throughout the whole week because cool. there's so some people even presenting on Friday. Awesome. Awesome. Um, well, it's really great that your principal comes. You know, if the principal's backing you, you got it made. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly. uh, a. Yeah. That's awesome. Backing Absolutely. us or pushing us? <laughs> pushing you. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that didn't hear, he said, yeah, they have it made. <laughs> we do. We do. <laughs> so uh, technology integration-wise, so what are you guys doing technology-wise with that? I mean, are you, you taking soil samples? Are you checking pH levels? Are you doing that kind of stuff with iPads or Chromebooks? Or how's that playing out? We'll have a rain garden. Uh, we have two we have one garden now. We have a community garden as well. As far as pH soil samples and such, we haven't delved quite into that. Yeah. Um, being on an elementary level, um, definitely something that we could do. Uh, I believe that was done initially um, as far as lime and content within the soil sure, of sure. the garden. Uh, initially, there were uh, portables there. So yeah. when those were removed, it was a perfect opportunity to start a garden. <laughs> and under those portables is gravel and all the such. So initially, that stuff was uh, discussed, but soil samples, no, not so much uh, yeah. technology we integrate loads and loads of technology into daily lessons um, you can speak more on that Carla as far as technology more than I can with being our um, I think I had a student yesterday as I was exiting the building tell me that he has finished 30,000 lines of code this year wow. I haven't got to go on yet to verify that yet but needless to say my socks were knocked off and I have no reason to yeah. not believe what he's told us so sure, a yeah. lot of coding a lot of robotics um, the usual stuff that you get at a, cool. at, at, at school, hopefully, that's based in STEM that has it. We have a lot of toys in our toy box. Yeah. <laughs> with with yeah. elementary students, that's what you have to have a lot of hands yes. on, a lot yes. of things that they can use. You know, that's yeah. one of the big things with rural schools and it's with, with small schools is keeping, we know our students are going to stay there most likely or come back and making sure they understand that they can have a 21st century job in that area. So that's exactly another reason that you're a finalist is because you're proving to these kids that yes, you can stay right here. And, and since it's starting at the elementary level, um, really by the time they graduate, the four year college that we went to won't have to be an, a means to an end anymore. They could probably finish high school and start up on their own. And, right. Yeah. Right. We um, was writing for a grant that you bring that up we were writing for, I was writing for a grant last year and was doing some research on statistics for our county and in our community and I realized that the largest demographic for poverty in our county are women 24 to 35 oh. mm. and those are women that should be out starting careers and families instead in our community they're struggling to get along so we've started a girls stem program we call grit um, girls raised in technology yeah. um, or girls rule in technology. We haven't decided that yet. <laughs> so um, to try to get those girls, pull those girls yeah. aside, let them get more confident. They have a little bit of trouble when we're doing the Lego um, robotics and such. They haven't had experience even with Legos. So to build the mm -hmm. edge bot is a real chore for them. And they kind of get um, shaken when they see the boys put it together in an hour right. or two and they're struggling to put it together. So we pulled them aside and started a group with them starting small small and some more of the basic robotics and such and let them start gaining experience and build that confidence i think i talked to keith jackson who is out of oak ridge schools our first ap computer science teacher in the state of tennessee a couple years ago and he was talking about how uncomfortable he was having to stalk the girls in the hall to beg them to get them to take his yeah, courses exactly yeah. and so when you look at the high school girls they're not confident enough to to do it and then the middle school girls it's not a good time to try to get those girls in there that's a really awkward age so we need to be hitting those girls in elementary and so many of these programs that are for stem and girls start middle school and high school they won't even talk to me a lot of them right you know because i'm an elementary teacher and i really think elementary is where we need to be hitting right. those girls and nancy black was on earlier and that's one of her sessions here is getting girls involved in stem and, and technology and it's, it's just not it's not glamorous they don't know why Mm -hmm. It's like, well, why would I do that? What, what appeals to me? And when you get to a, a community like yours, or a community, we're, I'm from Hope, Arkansas, so you know, mm -hmm. we're 10,000 people. So we're rural. Yeah. And why would a girl want to go into STEM or go into technology? There's just, I don't see it. You know, that's not what I'm going to do. It's boring. <laughs> it's boring. I hear it a right. lot. I'm I not try to show code, them the video you know, clips. Yeah. I try to pull them in, and I hear yeah. that a lot. Yeah. We talked to uh, Tesca Fitzgerald, who is a robotics 
um, PhD student at Georgia Tech. She Skyped our girls the other day. 12 years old, she graduated college at 16. Or at 12 years old, she was going into college. 16, she graduated. And um, our girls didn't think she was boring at all. She was really fantastic. Yeah. I think if they yeah. get out to, Making to meet those more, yeah. mm-hmm. they, would, yeah. they would understand. And, and that's like getting them into Nashville to the right startups because, you know, Nashville's got a nice little startup community going on and taking them on those trips and letting them see. And, and there's the other thing I think it, it's interesting is we always talk about STEM and tech and we forget that there's all the other branches that if we can get them into that computer science and get them into STEM, and then move them into it, they might find a wonderful job doing PR or accounting or for that company because they know more about that company, about right. what it does. Yes. And that's and that's more glamorous than... Yes, <laughs> yes. I, I get it. I have two daughters, so I completely get it 110%. It's not glamorous, Dad. We're not going to do that. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. Well, a lot so. of it is, and, and a lot of it is, you know, the one of the key buzzwords lately, but I mean, in all seriousness, is, you know, you got to have that relevance. It's got to be something that they can relate to and that is relevant to them. You know, how, how do I, why do I even want this? Why do I need this? What am I going to do with this? And, you know, sometimes it's the little baby steps and it's the little things, but you, you, you find something that hooks them in there and then you can, you know, keep them hooked for, like you said, from elementary on through yes. high school and beyond. So that's, that's awesome. I know the boys love it, so you don't have to worry about that. I think so. the hook with the girls is when they realize they can help people. Mm. Women just naturally want right. to help. Yeah. And when they realize that they can help others. Mm-hmm. We just did a novel engineering project with the book Poppy by Ivy, and they were helping the characters. And so the boys, it was reading, it was a book. They did great, but the girls, they just really mm-hmm. came Lots out there. You know, They mm-hmm. loved helping those little characters in that That's story. Awesome. And they built some great projects. In well, and I, and I think that speaks to the projects that helped get you here. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, the, the projects where you've got the helping elderly get food that they wouldn't necessarily otherwise be able to get to. And, and working with the community, helping and benefiting the community through the programs that you guys are doing. Right. And you're Thank right. You. That definitely mm-hmm. appeals, generally speaking, more to, to females yes, than yes, yes, males. Yes. You know, most males are very, you know, we're task driven and we're uh-huh. going to do da, 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 and here's the way it is and you know generally speaking girls are I, I, I need piece. to see how this is going to make me feel and make how how I can help other people feel better yes yes you know so that it's, just, it's the whole Mars Venus thing you know? <laughs> <You're right. laughs> well it sounds like you guys have some really awesome. cool stuff going on. I'd love to yeah. visit it would be fun to, to see your your chicken coops and, and, your, <laughs> and your gardens that that's yeah. a real big deal even even our agri department doesn't get to that level just yet, but it's, a, a lot of schools are taking that on. The butterfly thing is really cool, too. That's very cool. Yeah, the butterfly awesome. launch was phenomenal. It's grown yeah. so much. Mr. Collins, one of our teachers, he's been a teacher in the county for 44 years. He's up for a Life Changer of the Year award, and uh, he started that program several years ago, and you would not believe how it's grown. It's Just huge. changed his life, we too, We had how it? many? Yeah. 1,200? 1,200 at our last butterfly launch. <laughs> wow. That's, That's really awesome. awesome. Cool. Um, so, uh, website for the district, for the school? Uh, UES.SumnerSchools.org. Okay, do you guys have an open Twitter that they can tweet out to the to the school? What's our Twitter? <laughs> we are. Put you <laughs> on the spot. Point to him. He's, <laughs> like, he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. We Where are Union. At Union STEM. Okay, cool. There you go. You caught us on the spot. We Let are Union STEM. Stim. You've been listening to a recorded conversation from EduTech Guys live coverage of Fetsy 2018. For more information about EduTech Guys, visit edutechguys.com. And thanks for listening.